thank you for joining me. Clearing the house messages on spirit. What do they want to confess? We need a confession of the heart. <clears throat> Don't be shy. We have your love and learning coming out. Silence. This person could be very quiet right now. All right. This person is learning a lesson in love. I want to make love to you. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting this card to say that. <laughs> I had pause. Wait, pause. We have, I want to make love to you. I, I don't. I ain't read all these cards. I don't know what's going to come out. I want to make love to you, which you have never experienced before. I want, okay, so this could be somebody that you haven't experienced in that way, okay? Or this could be somebody I want to, you know, give it to you in a way you ain't never had. You know, I ain't never had that. I'm trying to see what that's like. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I want to make love to you, which you never had before. I want to intimate. I want intimacy in every way possible with you. I just want us to know each other like no one else before us has ever known each other. What the fuck? Your touch, your voice really heals me. Love. We also have here learning. You are unique and special, and I have never met anyone like you before. You have opened me up to things that I've never known were possible. I am so strong because of the power of our love. You have opened my heart to the truth and I am very grateful for all the lessons that we both are learning now. This is, could be somebody that want to say all this to you, but they can't find the words to say this, all right? With silence at the bottom of the deck. I'm sorry for my silence. I just need to break. I just needed a break and I know that I don't. What is this? I just need a break. And now I don't know how to reach out. And I don't know how to reach out to you again. This could be somebody that could have like, <laughs> I don't want to say they ghosted you. All right. But you haven't spoken to this person. All right. So they're trying to figure out how to like get it back going again to get the conversation back um, warmed up or get it back hot and heavy. All right. Because they do want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to bust their molds down. All right. Anything else? These are their confessions. <laughs> Two, three, four on the clock. My bad. I thought I was hearing my baby. We have here karmic battles. I am releasing what is no longer serving me. So this person could be releasing a karmic situation. All right. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, like somebody that they're dating, but this person could be involved in a karmic situation. Please be patient with my process of growth and change. As I come into my power, I am making sure that everything is in line so I can be with you. I am I am severing my ties with karmic situations and complete karmic situations and completing cycles. I'm just getting some yeah regret at the bottom of the deck. This person is in regret when it comes to a situation with you. Their intentions was never to hurt you. Okay, they could be ashamed of something. All right, that's why they haven't talked about it. Or that's why they're real quiet. Damn, this person hurt you, and then they had to learn to cry. What the hell going on? Now that that right there, <laughs> what? It hurt them hurting you. Wow. You know what somebody said it's gonna hurt me more than it hurt you. So whatever this person did, all right, it hurt them. It hurt them. <laughs> they saying that it hurt them just as much as it hurt you, if not more. Wow. Wow. Clearing us messages, please, Holy Spirit. The love. Never knew what I was missing. Clap I love Holy Spirit. That is too many. Clearing on his messages. This person got a whole lot they want to say because they they over here silent. They got a lot they want to say. We got the five of swords coming out, the page of swords with the hermit. Yeah. Somebody thinking about the, something that they did to you or something that they said to you. Something about the look on your face. I don't know if you was giving this person a look. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever this person told you, you knew that they was capping. You knew you knew they was leaving something out or they wasn't telling you the whole truth. I don't know. You was giving this person a look. This person could have sunk down in a seat. All right. 
You was giving them the look. Clarify love, Holy Spirit. We have here the high priestess. You can know that this person loves you. You can know that this person loves you, all right? But something about, yeah, you're just not going to, something that you're not going to tolerate. You have zero tolerance for, all right? Yeah, with the uh, nine of wands showing, you're, it's like you stood up to this person. This person could have tried to handle you some type of way, okay? And you could have um, spoke up for yourself, even put this person in their place, all right? But somebody could have spoken to you some kind of way or said something to you. Or took a dig at you because of the way that they were treating you and you standing up for yourself. All right, so they went low. They could have went low. What is this? Where is this going? All right. Yeah, the devil card coming out in reverse. Something could stem from a karmic relationship. I don't know. Something's going on with it. Like somebody could have something going on with a karmic relationship and took it out on you. Yeah, the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, the moon card, it had four of cups. I can't make this up. This had nothing to do with you. Like, it wasn't your fault or like, you were catching attitude. It was misdirect anger. The anger was misdirected. So somebody could be apologizing for the way they had talked to you or treated you. It was a better, it's like, you can't handle the, they should have handled the situation better. They should have handled you better. You didn't deserve that. The disrespect. Yeah. Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody's like, I'm not going to tolerate that. I'm not going to accept that. Devil card, Ace of Cups in reverse. If this is what you call, it's like somebody, oh, you saying you love me, but When you get to being in your feelings or you feel some type of way, this is how you talk to me or this is how you treat me. An ace of wands, a nine of cups, a two of pentacles here. Somebody could have been saying like, I'm going through things or like, it's like they know it's not this person's fault. But they're using this person as an outlet to take out their emotions. Okay, dealing with a karmic situation. So that's why somebody is saying, please be patient with me. I'm making the necessary changes to come into my power and get aligned. I am severing ties with a karmic situation. So something could be depleting someone. If somebody could be feeling drained. All right. Clarify the devil card, ace of cups, reverse the love. We have here the world card. As well as the five of cups. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Something about love not living here. It's like you, you're gone. You know how they say, it's like somebody could have felt like you took the love away. Or you walked away, or you're not showing love, or you're not giving the love that you used to. Somebody could be like, what can I do to make it better? What what can I do to get you to love me how you used to? Or like, what is this? It's like somebody did something or treated somebody some kind of way. And somebody was like, oh, okay, I'm going to pull back. I'm going to tone it down a notch. Because I'm not going to accept that, or I'm not going to be treated this way or handled this way. And, like, somebody could be, like, treated someone some kind of way and is still expecting them to be lovey-dovey all on them. Somebody's like, no. No. I don't even know if I want to invest in this anymore. Somebody could have got caught up with a karmic. have here the queen of cups with the hangman at the bottom of the deck clarify learning holy spirit <clears throat> clarify learning
the two of wands with the queen of swords I don't know if this is a lesson for the both of you. Yeah, the temperance here with the two of wands, sun card at the bottom of the deck, the ten of swords. Yeah. When you come across good people, you just don't treat them that way. Yeah, the justice card, six of wands, or two of swords. And somebody could have missed out on a, a, a true love, healthy love, something that was good for them. All right? When you meet good people or something is good, you don't treat it that way. You take care of it. Somebody didn't take care of the love that you two had. Yeah, this emperor, Hierophant at the bottom of the deck with the page of pentacles. Very unfamiliar love. They've never experienced someone like you before. They've never been there. They've never been there before. Something about you could be non-traditional. But this could be somebody that's taking a lot of accountability for the for the part that they played in the situation. They could be taking responsibility for everything as a whole. So I'm hearing, what is this? Why somebody keeps thinking about your body? Or your you guys' bodies like coming together? The moon card here with the tower at the bottom of the deck, the five of swords, the page of swords. Clarify this moon. Because there's some karmic shit going on in the background, for real. And it's like, I really don't even want to dig into all of that. There's some karmic shit going on. All right. This person is doing their best to cut ties with a karmic situation. It's starting to spill over to what they, it's spilling over into what they have for you. All right. This could be like the energy that you give this person, they're taking it back and they're, they're taking the energy that you could be giving this person, they're taking it back to a karmic situation. Or this could be like the energy that they have with a karmic situation. They're bringing that shit to you. What is this? Karmic battles? Yeah, the three of swords. This is a situation where nobody's gonna. Every people could be hurt. People are gonna get hurt. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Clarify the three of swords. You have here the hangman in reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Give me one more. Because this is somebody just that was, that's refusing to be hurt any longer. All right. They don't want to stay in this place of pain and sorrow. All right. They could be forgiving someone. Right, or somebody could be asking for someone's forgiveness. Yeah, nobody said it would be easy, the Ten of Wands. But they're but they're going through the process. They're growing through the process. Yes, the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands. <laughs> yeah, they're battling. They're going through the battle. Somebody is battling their emotions at this time. Tapping into their emotions. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Learning love and releasing karmic battles. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Star card at the bottom deck with the Nine of Swords. Nine, nine. Nine. This person wants to protect the love that you two share. Okay? Somebody is saying 
that even if they couldn't give you the love that you need, you deserve love. You deserve to be loved. Something that you're doing serves this person greatly and they're grateful for that. They said your touch, your voice is really healing to me. Take all your resonates and leave the rest. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and hell of that shit. Peace.